In this video, I'm going to show you a way to automate your image size adjustments um, and convert to profile. And then um, this automation is called an action. So we're going to create an action. And then we are going to make a what's called a droplet <clears throat> um, based on that action. So this is one way of automating um, a resize um, function or automating any function really in Photoshop. Um, first thing you have to make sure is that your actions are open, your action window is open, so you can um, go to in your Photoshop panel window and just make sure that that action window is open and it shows up over here. Um, so I have my image here, so let's just go and look at the file. So I haven't changed the file size. This is the size it was downloaded, and you can see it's got a massive resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and downsize this image. Um, I'm going to make it a size that's going to make it easy to work with in, um, in Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro likes to have a resolution of 72 dpi. Um, Premiere Pro also, um, just want to make sure that Premiere Pro, you also have a color profile that is sRGB. That is the default color um, profile for um, Premiere Pro working. So let's just go ahead and create that now. Um, so the first step um, that we want to do here is create an action. So see under there's all these default actions but we're going to have to create one specifically for our project so over on the side here you'll see once I click my little um, panel on uh, tab on the side I come up and I get new action so I'm gonna um, select new action and I'm gonna give it a name and I'm just gonna call it shafter resize image mm, I can save it in the default actions that's fine could color code it if I wanted to why not let's give it a color code so it's easy to find click record and now essentially we are recording this new action so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and resize my image so it's image image size and I want 72 dpi and under pixels I'm going to make this um, hmm I'm going to make this uh, 1080 pixels high um, and essentially that is the um, the size of HD video 1080p and there's my image resized and now I'm going to make sure I have the correct profile so it's edit convert to profile and I'm just going to select one that um, Premiere Pro likes prefers so that my images will um, be optimally displayed um, when they are exported through Premiere Pro so it's an sRGB color profile even though this is a black and white image and there we have it once I've done that I'm going to click file save and file close and then I'm going to stop recording because I've created my shafter resize image so if I go now into and open the file that I just had open, which is my watching baseball edit one, I should have um, that image resized. Okay, so the next step, once you have your action created, is to create a droplet. So we'll just get our droplet up. So you can see under menu menu items file automate create droplet so file automate create droplet and we're going to save our droplet 
where I'm going to save my droplet. I'm going to save it as Shafter Resize. I'm going to save that in my, um, you can save it to the desktop if you find that easiest. I'm just going to save it in my folder where all my um, material are for this assignment. And it's, there's the action. So it all automatically selected the last action I created for this droplet. And there it is. And that's it. That's all I really have to do. I'll click OK. And we'll just minimize Photoshop. And what you'll see when I open my folder here in Shafter is now I have the Shafter resize droplet. So I just want to show you how this works. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my Shafter folder of images. And I'm going to take this folder that I've already um, edited. You can see it's labeled Edit. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to drop it into my droplet here. And it'll launch. And what it's going to do is it's going to automate what I just did with my action. So that droplet now automatically converts all of the folders in that image with to the size that I requested, the 1072 DPI, um, 1080p high and it converted to the sRGB, saved it, and closed it in the same place. So all those images have been adjusted for size. So I can go through now and do the same thing with the other folders of pictures that I've already photoshopped, and, um, and they'll be resized properly. So let's just open it and check it. So there's my image. We'll go image, size, and there it is, 72 dpi, 1080p high. Okay, and file, or edit, convert to profile, and indeed it is sRGB profile space. So now the pictures are ready to um, start working in Premiere Pro.